All right, Shalom, Shalom, the brother Yahweh Shapat. Coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in these scriptures. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. To you brothers that are on the highways and the byways, pushing this word out in truth and sincerity, risking your lives and your freedom to do so now so more than ever. To you, I say Shalom. This is an article that says, Earth knocked off its axis by glacial melting due to climate change. And I'm going to read a little bit of this article and then I'm going to get some scriptures. Lord willing, those scriptures are edifying. It says, The melting of glaciers as a result of climate change has knocked the Earth off its axis, according to new research. The North and South Poles have moved about 13 feet since 1980, with melting glaciers accounting for most of the shift since the 1990s. According to a study published in Geophysical Research Letters, also contributing to the shift were natural factors including oceans, currents, and the pumping of groundwater according to the study in the American Geophysical Union's journal. And uh, I'm going to kind of stop right there because brothers kind of, you know, get the point. Basically, the earth is um, out of its course. It's, 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 it's out of course, man. You know, all the foundations of the earth are out of course, and that gla those glaciers are foundations of the earth. The Lord had them there, and that, that certain place, everything is in order, man. And before Esau, the so-called white man, came into power, everything was in perfect order. You know what I'm saying? And um, as we see as, as, as he's, you know, we see as he's came into power, hey, evils are increased in the earth, man against the earth and against the people that dwell in the earth mainly the israelites you know esau has all these different technologies all of these different gases that are getting into the atmosphere it's killing the earth man they're destroying the earth and, and that's one reason that yahweh bashim yahweh shah is going to come back and deliver uh, uh 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 jake man because that's why the scriptures say uh that the, the days are shortened for the elect's sake or else there will be no flesh left to save. You know, and I'm roughly paraphrasing that scripture. That was Yahweh side that said that. You know, us living here will kill us. In, just, just, us just living here will kill us because this earth is polluted because of this man. You know, and if if he has what 20 more years to rule, there's not going to be anybody left for Yahweh side to save. So Yahweh side not only has to save us and deliver us, he's got to save the earth. The earth is given into the hands of this goddamn devil, and they are destroying the earth, man. They're destroying the people in the earth, putting barium oxide in the fucking atmosphere, and Lord knows what else. We breathing that in. The cars that we drive, they emit gas. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, the the just the the smoke and soot that's coming from these different factories. We're inhaling that. The quality of air is is is, is very very shitty in this place, man. You know, and not only that, you have Esau that ha he has all these different devices and technology to tweak with the Earth's atmosphere, you know, above and below. You know, he has technology that can move tectonic plates. He's got technology that can uh, uh, fuck with the weather. So this devil is destroying the Earth, man. You know, the Earth being out of course is definitely due to this man ruling. I'm going to just get a couple of scriptures. I'm going to go through the spirit. This is Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? You know? So if the, if the so-called white man ain't the goddamn devil or the wicked that's ruling the earth, who is it? You know, everything's out of order, man. And, and because of this man's rulership. This is Psalms 82 and 6. Salaki 82 and 5. They know not, neither will they understand all the foundations of the earth. Misalaki, they know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. Hey, all the foundations of the earth are out of course, man. They saying that the axe, I mean, the, the earth is, 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 is uh, basically, is, is, matter of fact, let me go back and get this. I should be able to. So the earth is knocked off, knocked off its axis. Hey, due to who? Due to Esau, the so-called white man. The Lord got to save this earth, too. He got to save his, his creations. 
the earth is part of one of his, the earth is one of his creations you know hey man this 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 we we need deliverance man we need Yahweh Shah to come back uh yesterday you know what i'm saying so this is Isaiah 24 and uh start at verse 4 it says the earth mourneth and fadeth away the world languisheth and fadeth away the haughty people of the earth do languish the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws changed the ordinance broken the everlasting covenant you know hey the earth is defiled because that everlasting covenant you know, hey, it, it, the Lord gave that to the Israelites, man. You know, the ordinances. When we were in rulership over the earth, everybody was following after us, man. Following those law, statutes, and commandments that, commandments that made us wise in the sight of the other nations. And they listened to us, you know. They actually kept some of those ordinances. But Esau broke that everlasting covenant and he changed the ordinances, man. In direct opposition to what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai set up for the earth to be governed in under. It says, Therefore have the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell in dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few are burned and few men left. You know? Yeah, man. Let's see uh um, Revelations eleven and eighteen. This is Revelations 11 and 18. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come in the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. So the time has come, man, for the, 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 the Lord's men to be set up, you know, you know, for, for his saints, to uh to, to to be given a reward which will be the kingdom all israelites are going to enjoy the kingdom of heaven you know all a hey, hey, two-thirds are going to have they're going to be shamefaced in the kingdom for a little while but you know that won't be forever you know what i'm saying but they will bear that shame for a while but they still going to get to going to get to enjoy the benefits of the kingdom and not being ruled over by any other nation except for their own and hey, man, the Lord is going to destroy you so-called white people, man, for destroying the earth. And not only them, the other nations as well, because you got to lump in the fact that uh, uh, I believe it was Japan, was those of the Ammonites, you know, they were talking about um, dumping nuclear waste into the ocean. So it's not just E, man, all of the other nations that are uh, under E's rulership and that follow after him. They're defiling the earth too. This place needs a great reset. All the other nations are taking part in it right now. Actually, if you want to be, you know, technical about it, but the main one is E. So I'm gonna get this last scripture here. Romans the eighth chapter. We're gonna start at the twenty-second verse. It says, "For we know that the whole." Creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. So the whole creation is suffering, not just us. The whole creation. The animals are suffering. The earth is suffering. The trees are suffering. The water is suffering. The fish are suffering. You know? It says, um, and not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the spirit even we ourselves grown within ourselves waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of our body and 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 hey man we 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 want to be delivered not only from captivity from under this man's rulership but out of these bodies these bodies are are are, are, are a prison man you know literally you know what i'm saying these bodies are weak they get sick you know they heal slow you know what I'm saying? We're not we, we, we the the uh the holy flesh has passed from us, man. We we're not God like as we used to be. You know, the Lord took that from us, but He's gonna give it back to us better than ever. You know, we 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 long for the to to get out of this body because we catch hell in this body, man. 
This body is subjected to being sick, to being fucked with by Satan and his demons. You know, your flesh lusteth against your spirit, so you can't really serve Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai as you would because you're in this flesh. You know, the, like the Lord said, he made the creature subject unto vanity, not willingly. You know, the Lord, hey, hey, subjected us into this flesh right now, man. We're those angels, you know, in human bodies right now. Now, this is Psalms 82 and 6. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High, but ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. Arise, O powers, judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all nations. And who are those powers? The men of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, the prophets. Because if you go into the Hebrew, the word arise, O God, means power, and in Hebrew it means Allahayim, powers. So, uh, yeah, man, we're going to judge the earth, man, and we're going to inherit all nations. <laughs> All nations are going to be subject unto the uh, uh, subjugated under the Israelite man, you know. But um, I believe that's that's pretty much all I had, man. You know, I'm gonna close out with that. You know, hey, hopefully this lesson was edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. And until the next one, I say Shalom.